Greetings, everyone, and welcome to episode number eight of Baba Talks. Let me tell you what inspired this episode, because as I told you before, I'm always going to wait until there's some sort of inspiration to sit here in front of the camera and then to share, because I always want to have something of value to share. But let me tell you what bought this Baba Talks about. I was working with a group of third graders on the speaking and listening skills exercises that I do. And I have this, what I call rhythm and pacing of instruction, where I go at a certain pace, I stop, and then we engage in dialogue, discussion, conversation, question and answer. So there was a a young man who raised his hand and he desperately wanted to ask a question. And you can tell in their eyes when there's something they have been itching to ask. So one of my third graders, he raises his hand and he, and he asks me this, and I'm not kidding. This was his question. When is there going to be another Baba Talks episode? <laughs> I'm not kidding. This third grader really raises his hand and asks, when is there going to be another Baba Talks episode? So this episode of Baba Talks, I'm going to uh, give a shout out to the young man, first name only. This third grader's name is Fidwan. So, Fidwan, this episode of Baba Talks, dedicated to you. Thank you for asking. Now, let me jump into what I really want to discuss in this episode. I've been planning to discuss this, but I haven't. And it's what was the inspiration for Baba Talks? Because I think the origins of why we do things and how they come about is equally important. And I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible because I want... Uh, I want the inspiration for this to sit with everyone. So um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this, but this is not to elicit pity or anything like that. I just want you to hear me out. All right. Baba Talks was inspired by my mother. My mother passed a few years ago. Now, before my mother passed, she had this, it was a big book that she had written all these notes in. My mother, oh, she loved to write. But she had written all of these notes in, and on the cover of the book, she had this page with these pearls on it. And she called the book Nana's Pearls. So inside of the book were all of the things that my mother said that she had learned throughout her life that she wanted to share with younger people, especially younger women and women of color. And I went through, after my mother passed, I went through the book, and I'm reading through the book, and... I thought this was such a beautiful thing that never got to come to fruition. So the more I thought about it, the more I began to think there should be something where we share our collective wisdom, where we can talk about things, where we can, as we have grown older or we have learned from others, where we can share our pearls. Now, let let me share a little bit of what was funny about this. Initially, because it was inspired by my mother's idea of Nana's Pearls, uh, when I was putting together the idea for Baba Talks, it wasn't called Baba Talks. <laughs> Initially, as I was putting it together, I, was, I had thought about Baba's Pearls. Mm, I love my mother and I want to honor her memory, but that, that did not work. <laughs> so I thought about, well, maybe I'll do Nana's Pearls and then I will just share And then the more I thought about it, I'm like, no, I'm not going to be a convincing Nana. So I I couldn't do that. And then it hit me. Part of me is my mother and part of my mother, I am her. Uh, Those of you who have close relationships with family and intimacy with friends, you'll understand what I mean when I say that we are one. We are all part of uh, the same whole. And... I started thinking many of the things I learned from my mother growing up, uh, I, I use in the world. And when I was reading through her book on Nana's Pearls, it was almost something, um, it was like reading something that I share with my own grandchild and the children that I work with. So I thought, well, you know, maybe we can just sit and talk. And then the idea came around for Baba talking. And I thought, yeah, Baba talking. and. I was like, no, that doesn't work. The Baba talking, it sounds like a bobblehead show or something. (laughs) And I wasn't going to do that. So that double entendre of Baba talks or Baba talks, I mean, 
I'm kind of, you know, kind of corny that way. And the fact that that was a double entendre, it kind of sparked me. And it was like, yeah, that's it. Baba talks. So what I'm going to do is every time I'm inspired, I'm going to sit in front of this camera and I'm just going to share things that happen to me, as we say, in the field. I am storytelling almost every day of the week. And there are literally hundreds and hundreds of stories that cross my path of engaging with um, everyone from the youngest. I mean, I engage with three and four, five year olds all the way up to uh, university age uh, young adults and even professors and other students in the educational systems that I work in. So I thought all of these stories are crossing my path all the time and some of them, uh, some of them are so synchronistic that they, they seem unbelievable at times and I have a friend who's a brilliant storyteller, one of my inspirations and one of my elders. His name is Michael D. McCarty. And Michael and I, my brother Michael and I, when we talk sometimes, we'll get on the phone and we'll just start laughing at the way the, the, the universe syncs up for us and things happen for us in order for us to continue on our storytelling journey. And what I realized is we never shared many of those things, many of those stories. And that's what Baba Talks is going to be about. It's not just a journey of me to only share things that are happening, but it's going to be a journey also for me to take in what you all have to give as well and then put back out here because I believe more in collective wisdom than I do personal wisdom. Okay, so the inspiration for Baba Talks, Nano's Pearls. If you guys want to call it Nano's Pearls, I don't mind. Those in the know, you'll understand. I will, I will be honored for those of you who call this show Nano's Pearls. Maybe that can be our underlying show. You know, those who know, call it Nana's Pearls. Or those who are new, let them call it Baba Talks, right? <laughs> so I wanted to share that with you. Also, once again, we all need to thank the young questioner, Fidwan, for asking uh, so that we could get this one going. I'm going to try to put out another one. I have a whole bunch of ideas. I have things that happened this week, and I really should put out another one soon because next week, while I'm working again, Many other things are going to happen. So I've always wondered, how do people get the vlogging thing going when you're so busy living life and things are happening constantly? So I'm just going to set up. You guys, I'm going to show you how it's set up in here. I'm going to set up and then I'm just going to sit here, record, and then put them out whenever I can. They may not be the most high production value things in the world, but at least I'm sharing, right? And I think that's important. So... If you have any questions or is there something you'd like me to talk about or you have questions, I'll read questions here. Uh, if you send me questions, I'll read them here and I'll answer them here. You can uh, email me at Baba the Storyteller. I'll put it here. I'll put it here. Baba the Storyteller at gmail.com. Email any questions you have or if there's something that you think might be some sort of collective wisdom that you want to share, uh, send it to me. I'll share it here with everyone. Now, Thank you for sitting in with me for a few minutes on Baba Talks episode number eight. So until we meet again, until our paths cross again, don't forget. Doni Doni, kununi bien yagada.